Good morning to all our senior leaders of the IMC Chamber of Commerce and Industry, our members of the Managing Committee, participating organizations, and delegates. I'm Maya Desai, Director with the IMC Arbin QA Trust. A very warm welcome to the MQH Best Practices Competition 2.0, the re-engineered version online of the MQH 2020. We thank all our participating organizations to have taken up this platform to send in their pre-recorded presentations despite certain constraints. They are here today to interact with the judges for their final recognitions. I am sure all of us will go through this interesting version with enthusiasm and positivity. <laughs> all in the comfort of our safe zone. Before we begin our formal inaugural session with addresses of our leaders, I would like to present a few key points to keep in mind. If for any reason the meeting I, uh, you are uh, getting disconnected, then you can use your meeting ID and password and re-enter and the host will allow entry. <coughs> You are requested to use a headphone with mic and earphone for better clarity. Once you enter the session, you are placed on mute with your video on off mode. All the presentations will follow the schedule during broad broadcast. Audiences can ask questions via the chat mode. I would also like to do a quick introduction with the team behind making this four-day event possible. I, I would like to introduce you to Ashita Hegde, who is spearheading this program and effectively bringing together 40 organizations for this platform. Ashita? Yeah, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's nice to see all of you in this virtual platform. All the best for everyone, and there will be great learning at the end of the sessions. Thank you. Thank you, Atisha. Uh, I would like to call upon Natasha Swami. She is the technical designer, weaving in all the online aspects for this wonderful journey that we are going to have till the 26th of June. Natasha? Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you, Maya. Uh, it's again, I'd like to repeat, nice to see everyone on this platform. We hope you have a wonderful four day session with us and wish everyone all the very best. Thank you, Natasha. We have Manjusha Babu who lends in strong support to information consolidation. Yes, very good everyone. And all the best for the MQH competition. Thank you. Thank you, Manjusha. And last but not the least, our strong IT team providing us support in all contingencies. We have Selby Nambisen heading the IT team. Selby, can I have, a, can I have your spotlight on? Hi, yes. Good morning, good morning Selby. And welcome to this MQH competition and all the best to all of y'all. Yeah. Her Thank team you. who is going to lend us support during the four days, uh, Narendra Kadam, Narendra? Narendra. Hello, good morning, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Uh, can I have Samir Vaze? Okay, Samir? Okay, hi, Samir. Yeah, yeah. And then we have Anastasia. Okay, Anna? Anastasia. Okay. I, is she there? Fine. Thank you so much. So this is, I just introduced them as these are the team members who are going to take us through these four days of our sessions on various sectors of manufacturing, education, healthcare, service, NGOs. So I hope you all have this a wonderful learning from these four days. And thank you so much. Now we begin with the formal inaugural session. We will be starting off with our president, Mr. Ashish Ved, 
uh, IMC Chamber of Commerce and Industry who will be giving his welcome remarks, followed by introductory remarks from Mr. Neeraj Bajaj, our chairman, IMC RBNQ A Trust. We will also have the teachings of best on best practices by Mr. Suresh Lulla, co-chairman, IMC Quality Improvement and Technology Committee. That will end, conclude also with the felicitation of our examiner. So this is the flow of the inaugural session. I request to play the video of Mr. Ashish Ved, President, IMC Chamber of Commerce and Industry for the benefit of our viewers. Thank you so much. A very good morning to all our viewers today. On behalf of IMC Chamber of Commerce and Industry and its Ramakrishna Bajaj National Quality Awards Trust, I have great pleasure in welcoming all of you to the MQH Best Practices Competition 2020. MQH of course stands for Make Quality Happen. And proud to present the online version of MQH 2.0 for the very first time. Necessity is the mother of invention and because of these tough times, we are compelled to have it online. The MQH Best Practices Competition invites submissions from organizations across sectors of manufacturing, services, education, healthcare, and NGOs. Participants go through a first level assessment of their submissions. We have with us 40 organizations making the final presentations during the course of four days, that is 23rd June to 26th June, 2020. The panel comprised of members of IMC Quality Improvement and Technology Committee and examiners. It will be a great learning experience for all. Set up in 1907, the IMC Chamber of Commerce and Industry is a premier chamber of commerce, trade and industry in the Western region with its membership base of 2,500 members and 220 trade associations affiliated to it. Together, it represents and advocates the interests of over 4 lakh business and industry establishment from diverse sectors of industry. Through its various industry-specific committees, the IMC provides policy inputs and recommendations at various levels of government authorities and organizes interactive dialogues, workshops, seminars, business conferences, and other activities for sustainable economic development. I invite you to join IMC as a member and enjoy the facility. I can promise you it will be a memorable experience. IMC's Ramakrishna Bajaj National Quality Awards, RBNQA, has rapidly become a symbol of excellence by creating the general awareness that performance excellence is the only feature which helps beat competition. Motto of late Sri Ramakrishna Bajaj was trust in quality and business ethics. During his lifetime, he not only led the Bajaj group to the highest pinnacles of glory and prosperity, but also spearheaded the quality movement in country in several ways. The IMC Ramakrishna Bajaj National Quality Awards Trust was instituted by the House of Bajaj in 1995 and the first cycle of the IMC Ramakrishna Bajaj National Quality Awards began in 1997. I have a small story to tell you about quality. There was once a Japanese company which was given an order by an American company for 1000 pieces of a microprocessor and they mentioned in that we tolerate 1% defect. The Japanese people read the order and sent with the order 1010 pieces. When the order was received by the Americans, they are confused and wondered why they had sent 1010 pieces. So, but there was a letter attached which the Japanese had written. They said, we, with thanks, we received your order for 1000 pieces, but we did not understand the latter part of your order where you mentioned 1% defect tolerated and hence we are attaching here with 10 more pieces for your consumption. This is how the Japanese are quality conscious that they believe in perfection and that's what's made them a great manufacturer of the world. Let's all strive to be like that. Wishing a great learning at the MQH 2.0, I now request Mr. Neeraj Bajaj, Chairman IMC RBNQA, to make his introductory remarks. Thank you. Thank you to all our participating organizations and viewers who have taken time off to witness this interesting learning experience. It has been a difficult and trying time for each of us, not only in our country, but across the globe. We are all in the process of reinventing ourselves to meet the challenges and work out effective ways to move towards sustainability. At IMC, we see the Ramakrishna Bajaj National Quality Program 
as a catalyst for nation building. The IMC Ramakrishna Bajaj National Quality Award criteria for performance excellence has over the years matured in its process of reaching out to organizations and helping them to take benefit of this self-assessment tool. The criteria takes a deep dive to every aspect of the organization, be it leadership, customer focus, workforce focus or operations. The effective feedback report at the culmination of the award cycle has convinced organizations that performance supported with appropriate evidences is the only winning criteria. The MQH Best Practices Competition is a celebration of showcasing the harvested practices of organizations. Shortlisted organizations follow a structured format for presenting their practice. It is judged by experts on the panel. Winners receive the MQH trophy. Organizations at the first and second level receive runners-up certificates. We had planned the two-day competition followed by the 2019 award ceremony for 19th and 20th March 2020. However, we had to postpone the same due to the pandemic situation. Today, I'm happy to announce that we are back with the MQH Best Practices Competition in an online version, MQH 2.0, meeting the present situation with agility. The two-day competition will be completed in a four-day format from today, 23rd June till Friday, 26 June 2020. The pre-recorded presentations will be followed by live interactions with the judges. Wish you all an enriching experience. I would like to take this opportunity to inform that the 2019 IMC RBNQA Awards would be held live. We are looking at a suitable and appropriate date during December. This of course depends on how safe it is for our winning organizations to travel and participate hoping for the best. Today's inaugural session will also cover a virtual felicitation of our examiners who were integral to the 2019 assessment process. We thank our strong contingent of examiners who have made possible the IMC RBNQA assessment process to be truly transparent, rigorous, guiding, encouraging, and most importantly, ethical. Coming to the last point in my talk to you, I would like to present our latest initiative, Excellence in a Crisis. This initiative is a competition facilitating organizations to capture their extraordinary work during turbulent times. I would urge you to go through the short and simple criteria. Work on a submission and send it to our team. The first level entry has been made free. Look forward to enthusiastic participation from all our dynamic organizations. I would like to thank Mr. Ashish Ved, Mr. Rajiv Potar, Mr. Suresh Lulla, Mr. Mangulkar, and Maya Desai, and the dedicated staff of IMC and Quality Cell, and all members of the IMC Quality Improvement and Technology Committee, along with the newly formed awards committee, who have given their valuable time and expertise. With these words, I request Mr. Lulla to take us through his teachings on best practices and their true meaning. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Mr. Bajaj, and good morning to all the delegates for this new avatar making quality. I'll get into some fundamentals. Who defines quality? Customer. Who's the final inspector? Customer. Who pays your salary? Customer. The customer receives an output of work that flows horizontally in your organization. We call that a process. In manufacturing, you receive some hardware and the customer judges the hardware. Customer blind to the process. But in a service industry, the customer is part of the process and has multiple moments of truth. You walk into a hotel, there's a bond. You check in, there's another moment of truth. Baggage to the room, etc., etc., all the way up to check out. One bad moment and the entire quality of service is doomed. So let's move to healthcare. Healthcare is also a service. But in healthcare, we're talking about human life. So the processes need to be a lot more tight and reliable. We move to education. In education, it's the toughest, particularly in a school. When a child gets admission in school in the first term, who's the customer? The parent. As the child evolves in your school, slowly the child becomes your customer. And this engagement is for like 10 years. So can you see the challenge for managing processes in education? Can you see the challenge for managing processes in healthcare? Having said that, a process is made up of activities. Activities that uh, follow a path across all the functions of the organization. Now, some customers experience the output of more than one process. I may receive your service, I will receive an invoice. <clears throat> an invoice is also an output. I may look for after sale service. So there are multiple processes that I'm dealing with. Each activity in turn is made up of practices. Some of these deliver performance results. 
It's extraordinary performance rhythms. We'd like to benchmark. <clears throat> we like to find out how we compare with competition in terms of performance. But in so doing, excuse me, <coughs> in so doing, all we're doing is catching up with competition. And you're doomed to be a follower if that's what you consider benchmarking. Benchmarking is more about how than what. How was that extraordinary result achieved? What have I learned? How can I internalize or innovate it in my organization? I can learn from any industry. I may be in manufacturing and I want to learn from education. And there will be processes. I may be from healthcare and want to learn from other services. Now, when you start a journey, the leadership puts together the relevant processes for your organization. It's like an orchestra. So there are some processes that are delivering to the customer value creation. There are some which are support and others are supply. Now for that organization to function, we need these various processes. And as a musician, I would focus on improving certain processes. This would go on, I keep improving, I keep improving. I keep comparing, I keep benchmarking. And finally, I'm as good as the best. But that is only half to performance excellence. Because now, if, if I wanted to attend an orchestra performance, I have a choice, multiple choice. I can go here or there or anywhere. They're no different. So what do I do? I then look at how can I innovate my process. To innovate, I need to ideate. And this requires cross-industry benchmark. Cross-industry benchmarking shows you how a certain process happened in a certain environment. Which of the practices can I adapt in my organization? You can't plug and play. You have to adapt. You've got to innovate. So you find cross-industry benchmarking and innovation are like twins. Improvement and performance benchmarking are like twins. Ultimately, I find I am being benchmarked. All other orchestras are trying to copy me. 
I want to be the best. I want to be loved. So what do you want? I proactively innovate my best practices to next practices. It is only when I'm being benchmarked by others and by the best am I truly giving you performance excellence. So good luck. Enjoy your time with making quality happen. Learn from one another. Go back with a lot of lessons and implement. It's not enough to just leave it in your mind. Implement. There's a lot of more. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for that wonderful learning. And you are the guru, definitely, for us. And I hope all the delegates have got great takeaways from sir's speech. We also thank our leaders, uh, Mr. Ashishved and Mr. Neeraj Bajaj, sir, to have given some very meaningful messages to all of us. Now we move on to the next. And uh, once again, sorry, uh, apologize for the certain background noises that were there. Uh, there were some difficulties. Uh, hope uh, uh, if I, each of you all will use your mic and headphones. You will be able to go through the sessions in with much clarity. Thank you so much. We now move on to our next segment is the felicitation of our examiners. We have a strength of over three, 1,300 trained examiners with the IMC Ramakrishna Bajaj National Quality Award process. They are the true ambassadors for us and they are there to take the message of performance excellence across organizations. So I request our team to play the video on the felicitation of our team members, the examiners who are the foundation of our process. Thank you so much. We now move on to the felicitation of our examiners. Examiners are the core strength for the IMC RBN QA Trust. They are a composition of professionals from across various sectors. This lends to the uniqueness of the IMC RBN QA assessment process. A cross industry perspective is reflected in the feedback reports presented to the applicant organization. However, the common link is, of course, the IMC RBN QA criteria for performance excellence. The Certificate of Excellence is the ultimate recognition that our examiners aspire for. A 360 degree appraisal comprising feedback from applicant organizations and team members gives a true analysis of the exemplary performance. We will now present to you the winning examiners for the 2019 IMC RBNQ Award Cycle and they would be receiving the Certificate of Excellence in the Team Leadership category and Team Members category. We present to Dr. Altaka Mitra, Consultant and Trainer. She was Assistant Vice President with RIF. We present to Dr. Anup M. McBaker, Director of Projects, Dr. M. L. Dawale Memorial Hospital. We now present to Dashrath Raj Shetty, Deputy QMR, MIT, Manipal Academy of Higher Education. We present to H.S. Bhatt, Head Faculty Administration with the Manipal University, Jaipur. Presenting to Jisa Vinci, Quality Executive with Maripo Limited. We present to Jitendra Malhotra. He is Senior General Manager, Hindalco Industries Limited, Aditya Birla Group. We present to Johnson George, Director and Proprietor, Mex System. We are happy to present to L. Ravi. He is General Manager Projects Planning with Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited, Mumbai. 
We present to Malti Narasimhan, consultant. She retired as COO with SBI Life Insurance Company Limited. We present to Dr. Mini Panikar. She is founder with Sahaba. We present to Praveen Ramesh Lal Jain, design head with Advent Electronics International Private Limited. We're happy to present to Rajagopal Mukundan, consultant with Quality Solutions Consultancy. We present to Rama Gauda Patil, he is head and promoter and senior consultant with ISEEE, that's Integrated Services, enabling and enhancing excellence. We are happy to present to Ratin D. Kandadia, Associate Director, Global Center for Excellence. We present to Dr. Sandeep Shenoy, Director, Compliance, Manipal Academy of Higher Education. We are happy to present to Sanjay Agarwal, Assistant Vice President, Supply Chain Operations, Reliance Industries Limited. We present to Shailesh M. Bodekar, Global Corporate Quality Head, Maripu Limited. We present to Suman Pai, he is trainer, writer and speaker. We now present to our team members, beginning with Ami K. Shah, she is head operations with Sahaba. We present to Dr. Anil V. Busane, vice principal with Sir Parshuram Bhav College. We are happy to present to Babaji Pagire. He is Head Business Excellence and Asset Optimization, Vedanta Limited, Sesa Goa, INO. We present to Bhavan Parikh. He is Management Consultant with Rudram Consultants. We present to D. S. Mehta. He is Partner with Luxor Electronics. We present to Harish Kotin, consultant and auditor with quality solutions and services. We present to Heman Shidai, a senior consultant with shop to top consultancy services. We present to Kailash Piyashir, who is proprietor with deep training and consultancy DTC. We present to Lakshmi Krishnan. Head HR, Admin and Marketing with Nearby Insurance Broking Services Private Limited. We present to Mariamma Joseph Vijita. She is Lead Program Co Execution with Tata Strike. We present to Poonam More. She is Associate Manager with Mariko Limited. We present to Poonam Shijali, she is VP Process Excellence and Information Risk Management with Citium Tech Healthcare Technology Solutions Private Limited. We are happy to present to Sadhana Ghosh, Adjunct Professor, DSIMS Malad. We are happy to present to Shilpakala Kedar Deshpande, she is Manager of Global Audits and Compliance. Cap Gemini Technology Services India Limited. We present to Siddharth Naik, CQA Manager with Marico Limited. We present to Tila Jagyani, CQA Manager with Marico Limited. We are happy to present to Dr. Yasmina Diawardi, Associate Professor and Head, Department of Life Sciences, retired now at the Dehim College. We present now to the last winner, Yusuf F. Hussain, Lead Manufacturing Excellence, Reliance Industries Limited at the head office. We thank all our examiners who have taken part in the 2019 cycle and for their invaluable contribution towards enhancing the process as always. Thank you so much.
I think we have finished well in time and there is uh, around nearly half an hour. We will start sharp the next session that is session one beginning with manufacturing category at 11 o'clock. May I request you all uh, to join us back at 11 a.m.